All right, boys, so I'm back on Roblox, the strongest battlegrounds, otherwise known as Saitama Battlegrounds. And, boys, in this video, I'm going to be exploring different myths in the strongest battlegrounds. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right. No, 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 no. And, boys, in this video, I'm going to be testing 50 different myths in the strongest battlegrounds. And these myths are going to include myths from movesets that aren't even in the game anymore and more. So, yeah, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I think 80 or 90% of you guys are still not subscribed yet. But, okay, before we go ahead and jump into these crazy 50 myths in the strongest battlegrounds, I'm going to go ahead and give away some game pass to people that liked, commented, and subscribed on the last video. All right, but let's go ahead and give one to Max Gaming because he said, Goober, can I have a private server? Yeah, Max Gaming, you can get the private server because you commented and subscribed on the last video all right and boom there we go i hope you enjoy your private servers plus all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and give one to this goober right here because i think this is a girl and i did not think any girls watched my channel all right and boom i hope you enjoy your early access and also if you're a girl bro if you're a girl and you watch these videos comment down below i i, I honestly did not think any girls watch this channel this kind of a channel for the boys if you know what i'm saying and then this guy just said please early access yeah bro i got you i'll give you early access just because you asked and i I don't know why your name's X Demon. You need to change that. And here you go, little buddy. I hope that you enjoy this early access. Hey, this said sub to sun. Let's go, guys. You should hit that subscribe button. But okay, boys, let's go ahead and jump into the first myth, which is you can fly with the Gojo purple move. Uh, we gotta test this out. Let me go ahead and join a private server. All right, so for this first myth, I need to go ahead and equip the sorcerer move set. Turn on no stun and no cooldown. And now apparently, uh, uh, uh we can fly glitch with the purple move so if we do this i think that you're supposed to like start jumping and clicking while when like when the balls hit so i think you're supposed to just keep doing this oh god wait i think i might have broken the server oh my gosh i think i might have broken the server oh wait whoa, whoa what was that oh my gosh wait what's happening uh wait why am i dude i'm literally starting to fly around the map i think you're supposed to jump when the balls hit each other um oh my gosh what is happening bro what is going on what is going on all right oh bro what is going on oh oh where did i go oh my gosh bro i literally can't see where, where did the map go where did the map go all right well boys that myth is proven to be fact oh my gosh bro what is happening to my face right now oh my gosh bro what is happening to my face what but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is apparently you can glitch out of the map with omnidirectional punches. And you know what? I'm not even going to do this in a private server. I want to do this in a public server just to see if I can glitch outside of the map in a public server. All right, but I just joined a public server. Let me go ahead and equip the strongest hero. All right, and now let's go ahead and start to build up our ultimate mode. Come here, goober. <laughs> All right, but boom, there we go. We have our ultimate mode now. Guys, just pretend like I didn't just come and ruin your guys' little party that you guys were having. Oh God, I've made... I've made Made these people angry oh no <laughs> they gave up but okay check this out so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find a trash can on the edge of the map so there's a trash can over there all right there's the trash can and now what you're gonna want to do is activate your serious mode and stand on top of the trash can and use your obvi directional punch all right i i i, I think this is what's gonna work maybe i don't oh, wait oh oh look no we literally just glitched up here okay well guys that myth that myth is proven to be fact oh my goodness bro look at that look at that they're just staring up at me yeah wait hold on watch this i'm gonna do a skateboard trick i'm gonna do a skateboard trick off of this here we go here we go let's do this all right and what all right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is you can destroy servers by spamming the blue move with Gojo. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna have to join a private server and test this out. So yeah, apparently if you go ahead and go into settings and turn on no cooldown and no stun, we can apparently do like infinite attract moves and like create a black hole in the server. So we're gonna see if this works. Okay, all right, so apparently all you're supposed to do is just like spam click it. Okay, um, okay, let's see. Is it working? Oh, yo, 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 no way. Bro, look at all the holes. Look at all the black hole things we're making. Bro, we're literally just doing infinite blue moves. We're doing infinite attract moves. What is this? Bro, we're literally just destroying the whole server. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Well, boys, this myth has proven to be fact, bro. Look at what I did to the server. Oh my gosh, bro. The weakest W is literally just getting sucked up right now. Bro, what is going on right now, bro? This is actually insane. All right, but before we move on to this next myth, let's get a word from our sponsor of this video. War Thunder is one of the best realistic combat comprehensive vehicle games ever made. And I wouldn't have let them sponsor me if I thought their game was bad. This game is actually a ton of fun. And 
And what's really nice about this game as well is that you can play it on not only Xbox, but also PlayStation and PC. That's right, all you PC guys, this is a great game to play. There's over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and other heavy machinery that you can use to destroy goobers in this game. And out of those 2,000 different vehicles you can use, you can use ones from all the way back in 1920 to modern ones as well. And all the vehicles are customizable as well. But the best part of all is that you can play this game for free today by clicking on the pinned comment down below. And in the link down below, there's also a crazy thing where you can claim a massive bonus pack, so don't miss, don't miss out on that. And inside this bonus pack, you get like premium vehicles, you get a bunch of XP and silver and more. And boys, keep in mind, this is for a limited time only. But all right, let's go ahead and continue to the next myth, which is apparently there's a way to make metal bat throw kill bricks. <laughs> so you can literally throw bricks that murder people. So let's test that out. All right, so we do need to equip the brutal demon, aka metal bat. And then we're supposed to do slash fly and then my username. All right. And then I think you're supposed to spawn a kill brick. And I guess the logic behind this is that if I use the foul ball move, it will throw the kill brick because that's the material under my feet. Okay, I guess let's go ahead and test this out. Um... Oh, bro, what? It actually worked. Wait, but does it actually do damage though? That's my question. Can we actually kill the weakest dummy with this? All right, let's go ahead and spawn some more of these kill bricks. All right, there we go. All right, and now let's use foul ball. Let's see if this works. All right, we're, we're gonna throw it at the weakest dummy. Oh, I guess it works, but it doesn't really like kill the weakest dummy. Cause the way that a kill brick is supposed to work is that it's supposed to like literally like it's it's supposed to kill like on impact. So if you were to hit this goober into it, like he should just die. Oh wait, what? Wait, how did he not die? But I die. Well, I guess we just got a myth, guys. I, I, guess, I guess that's an extra myth. The weakest dummy can't die by kill bricks, bro. That's so weird. Well, I guess this myth is fact, I guess. I don't know. That one is definitely weird. But okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which involves us to use our skateboard. Let's go ahead and pull out this little skateboard right here. And as you can see, the skateboard's not super fast. You know, we're kind of going very slow. You know, we're just moving along. But then you do kind of speed up a little bit. So like, okay, so we this is how fast the skateboard usually is. But apparently, we can make the skateboard go faster if we turn on a specific private server setting. All right, so let's go in here and let's go ahead and put attack speed multiplier all the way to 10. All right, now let's do it. Let's see if I go any faster. Uh, Am I going faster? I, I can't tell. Oh, I think I am going faster. Oh, I'm definitely going faster, bro. What is going on? Look at this. <laughs> We're actually skating around the map. This is sick. All right, can I jump over this? Oh, oh, oh. Bruh. All right, this next myth is actually a way to escape the Metal Bat Tornado Ultimate move. So if you're annoyed at the Tornado Ultimate, apparently this myth helps you literally escape it. So let's try to do this. All right, so if you go over here and hide in this corner and a Metal Bat Ultimate comes up to you and tries to use his Tornado move. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It will pick you up. And as you can see, it literally just teleported us right back. So yeah, we don't get flung in the air, nothing like that. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you would consider this a glitch, but yeah, this myth is confirmed to be true. So let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. All right, so this next myth is that apparently death blow can defeat death counter. This ultimate right here where you use the death blow and counter somebody, apparently you can counter death counter with that. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip the strongest hero. And then what I'm gonna do is give myself the awakening. All right, so I got a little goober in the server with me. One of the goobers, bro, what does his shirt say? Oh my goodness. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him use metal bat and then use this move against me while I use death counter. I want you to use the death counter move, or not a uh, death counter, the death blow move. Go. All right, and I'm gonna use this and death counter at the same time. All right, let's see if death counter can counter this. Um, it's already not looking good. This is already not looking good at all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that did not work. Oh yeah, guys, that that didn't work at all. Well, there we go. We got our first myth busted in this video. Finally, we got a myth busted. All right, and this next one requires me to actually use metal bat. All right, and now let me go ahead and give myself the awakening. And apparently, if we go ahead and activate our awakening and do slash fly, if we use the strength difference move, it apparently makes your screen go crazy. All right, let's check this out. All right, here we go. Is it gonna work? Oh, yo, yo, 
<laughs> bro, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, I literally couldn't see anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, th that myth is also true. All right, let's go ahead and unfly me. There we go. Enough picking on this little goober. I feel kind of bad. All right, but now let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which actually requires us to use the brand new moveset, the Blade Master. All right, so apparently this Blade Master moveset has the strongest M1s in the game. So I actually want to see how much damage this does on the weakest dubby. All right, hey, bro, stop beating up the weakest dubby. I want to beat up the weakest dubby. But okay, let's see how much damage this does. Okay, three damage. Wait, is that three damage? Four damage? Three damage? It does three damage? I feel like the other movesets do more damage than that. Let me check. Let me go ahead and reset. I'm going to test it against Metal Bat. All right, let's see how much damage this does. Okay. All right, that does three damage. Oh, it does. Okay, it, it does the same amount of damage. I, well, that, that, that myth is busted. The Metal Bat and the Atomic Samurai do the same amount of damages for M1. So, yep, that myth is busted. The Atomic Samurai does not have the strongest M1s in the game. All right, but now let's move on to number 10. And uh, number 10 is weird. So, somebody in my Discord told me this. Apparently, if you go outside the map with slash fly you can find genos's hands so yeah we, we need to join my private server again uh to test this out and see if we can find it all right and now let's start looking for this bro imagine if there actually is like genos's arms or hands outside the map okay um i am not seeing anything oh wait what is that wait is that it nah is there actually something down here why have i never looked underneath the map before bro i've literally just never checked down here um all right what is this no way is it actually genos's hands bro it's actually genos's arms what what? All right. Well, this is weird. I don't know what Genos' arms are doing way outside the map over here, but uh, but yeah, I guess this myth is true. This is weird, bro. I, di I did not expect to see this here. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. Apparently, if you right click uh on top of your window when somebody uses ultimate mode on you, it like glitches you so that they can't hit you. So we're gonna try this out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give this goober his awakening. All right, and when he flings us up in the air, apparently if we hold down right click when we go up and we just hold it down like this. I'm still holding it down. Wait, will I disconnect from the game or no? Wait, oh, I just fell. Wait, was I actually just floating to the air though? Yeah. Yo, what? All right, well, I guess that myth is proven to be fact. All right, Goober, go ahead and reset. I have another freaking myth that we got to test out. All right, so go ahead and equip the metal bat moveset. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you the awakening. Okay, come over here, Goober. And now we're both going to use strength, strength difference. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Wait, wait, what happened? No! Oh, wait, I think that we I think we timed it wrong. All right, hold on. We got to try that again. Hit it at the exact same time this time. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yo! I think we did it wrong again. All right, we literally have to click it at the exact same time. Three, two, one, go. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh, no. And dude, I still hit. All right. Hold on. We're, we're, we're going to time this perfectly. Hall on. 80 minutes later. All right. You know what? I don't think that this one is possible. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bit. Apparently, there is a way to escape the map using Genos. And I'm going to try to do it in a public server just to prove it. And yeah, actually, I don't know if it works yet, though. But we're, we're <laughs> I hope it does. That'd be sick. All right. But what you need to do is apparently you need to get the weakest dummy to go to like the side of the map. So we're going to go ahead and push the weakest dummy way over here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We his dummy we're just gonna push him over here just keep on making him go this way just you know just just go that way we'll go ahead and hit him with this as well there we go hey yeah you want to get the weakest dummy to apparently below 15 health let's go ahead and bop him over here some more dude this poor weakest dummy this poor weakest dummy bro <laughs> all right and there we go now we have it really close to the edge and now what you're gonna want to do is get him down to below 15 health all right there we go let's go ahead and hit him with that all right and now what you want to do is apparently use jet dive with the finisher and then use ignition burst and actually i want to go ahead and uh push him a little bit closer over here all right here we go here we go let's go up and and boom and then go up in the air and then we want to use ignition burst and then another jet dive no oh we did it wait no wait. no no i fell bro well boys honestly that myth is proven to be fact that that was act we we actually just did that you know what you know what little takis man get out of here get out of here <laughs> all right but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth which is you can get hit by more than one death counter uh yeah we're gonna have to get a private server to test this out all right so i got a bunch of goobers in my server from my discord guys the link will be down below i think it's discord.gg slash goobers bro my editor's here the the person that's editing this video is literally here that's crazy all right, i'm gonna go ahead and give everybody their awakening everybody Everybody, use your use your awakening and use death counter all right everybody use death counter all right here we go three two one 
And okay. Oh, look. Oh, I did get death countered by multiple people. All right, there we go. I guess that's dude. We literally got death countered by like three people right there. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, all right, all right. So since you can get death countered by multiple people, can you get death blowed by three people? Which is the, the new brutal demon ultimate move. Let's see if that'll happen. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate all of your guys' ultimates. Here we go. You ready? There we go. Nobody use your ultimate. Nobody use a move. Nobody use a move. On the count of three, I want you guys to use your counter move. Three, two, one, go. All right. There we go, bro. What is happening? Oh my gosh, bro. What is going on? Nah. Nah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. They just said rip stud. Oh my goodness, bro. Wait. Oh, other people died too. Somehow these guys survived. Yeet McGeet survived. Oh my gosh. But there we go. That, that myth is definitely true. That was one of the craziest things I think I've ever done in this game, bro. Shout out to all the boys that helped me with this part, by the way. This part was not easy to do and we did it first try. You guys are literally the ultimate goobers. Thank you so much. But okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is you can death counter Gojo's non-infinity move. Move. So as you guys know, Gojo has a new move that he can use without infinity. And yeah, we're going to see if I can death counter that. So hold on. Let me go ahead and reset. All right. And let's go ahead and activate our ultimate. All right, Mr. Noob, you have Gojo, right? All right. I'm going to use death counter. All right. I use death counter. Uh, attack me with the move. Go. Oh, wait, the, wait, you M1B. Wait, oh, I can death counter M1s. All right, well, there we go. I mean, we can death counter M1s, but can we death counter the actual move? Don't activate your infinity and click number four. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nope, nope, that that does not work. All right, nope, that did, okay, that did not work at all. And now there's Fog music playing. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that myth is proven to be false. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is you can play Blade Paul in this game. And guys, this one I actually know is fact because I've done this before, but let me show you how you can do it. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you a clip of what that's like. You see the Blade Ball, the Blade Ball setting in this game. All right, go ahead and throw it at me, Mr. Noob. And yeah, check this out, bro. Look at this. We can just go back and forth and back and forth forth it's insane but yeah that myth is proven to be true fact all right this next myth actually says that the foul ball move has infinite range so let's go ahead and test this out all right so mr noob is gonna go ahead and uh, make himself fly up on top of the mountain over there and then he's gonna use the foul ball and throw a rock at me and if it does have infinite range it should be able to hit me let's see all right um oh my gosh oh oh my gosh but hold on i need to go over to where it landed i'm gonna go to where it landed all right mr noob shoot another one go all right oh oh wait it's coming it's coming it's coming oh bro it hit me it disappeared but then it hit me what that's insane wait throw another one i'm gonna see if i can catch it oh wait it's coming up here oh dude, dude, it like disappears but then it still hits me that myth is proven to be facts let's go ahead and move on to the next myth which is gojo can kill an invincible player so there is a force field that goes around the player when they fly and the force field makes it so that they can't die to anything so yeah i, I can't hit them see I, li I literally can't hit them there's nothing i can do but apparently gojo can still kill them so let's test this out but all right i'm gonna go ahead and tell him to put a force field on me all right there we go i now have the force field around me all right so mr noob just reset because he's gonna use the gojo move on me and see if he can still kill me all right all right mr noob go ahead and use this gojo move oh yeah okay yep yeah, that okay i died well boys that man is proven to be true as well oh my gosh bro that gojo is so overpowered that he kills people with force fields bro that's insane but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next myth which is you can break a tree with a trash can all right but let me go ahead and grab a trash can and get ready to throw it at a tree all right and three two one let's go ahead and throw this trash can and oh my gosh bro what just happened uh it uh, it totally wasn't Mr. Noob over there that just shot a... <laughs> <laughs> and I just shot at it. But yeah, guys, obviously you can't freaking break a tree with a trash can, but that looked pretty realistic, guys. Don't lie. Comment down below if you thought that that actually happened for a second. But all right, boys, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. And that myth is actually probably one that you guys already know already, but let's go ahead and jump into that. You can use omnidirectional punch on players that are invulnerable, meaning like if they're using their ultimate move where you're not able to punch them. And also apparently you could use it if they're in the air. So let me try this out. Okay, so I'm in a public server for now and i have built up my serious boat so let me go ahead and activate this and now let me go ahead and try to find a player that's using their ultimate when they're like flying in the air or if they're just like uh not hittable like when a cyborg uses uh, their moves and you can't hit them all right there's metal bat there's metal bat he's using his ultimate all right here we go let's test it out let's test it out boom wait did, did i get someone dang it i missed okay oh, crap i need to build up my ultimate again okay
Okay, this guy just used his ultimate. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. We need him to use one of those crazy moves. All right, let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get him. All right, let's hit it. And boom. Oh, it worked. This myth is proven to be fact. Okay, bet. Wait, did he leave the game? He rage quit. Okay, he left the game. <laughs> let's go. All right, and boom. Yeah, that first myth is proven to be fact. All right, and the next myth is if you throw the foul ball move on top of the map, uh, it apparently has infinite rage. So uh, let me join my private server and test this out. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the zero gravity. There we go. Now we can go ahead and fly up here. All right, there we go. Now we're up here. All right, so yeah, apparently if we use foul ball and we throw it, it has infinite rage. Okay, um, okay, no, that does not have infinite rage. <laughs> it does go a far away though. That That is cool. Yeah, if it was infinite range, it would go all the way to the other side of the arena and it just goes to like around the middle and then disappears so i guess that one is proven to be a cap but okay this next myth is going to require me to go to a 2v2 server because apparently if you go and 1v1 somebody and you use the serious punch in the corner of the map it is undodgeable there is nothing that the players can do to stop it all right bro all right Ooh, we got our match Oh, God, it's Billy. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and select the ball hero. There we go. All right, and now it's time for me to go ahead and build up my ultimate bar. What's up, little goober Billy? Let's fight. Wait, they just said, hello, sir. Your payment is due on the 9th for the LGBT bill. Bro, what? Bro, what is this goober talking about? All right, you know what? It's time for you to die. It's time for you to die. Go boom. What is going on? He just tell me the phone bill, the electric bill. Bro, what is going on? I just put a bunch of question marks in chat. I'm so confused. All right, there we go. We have our serious mode. Now let me run away. Let me run this way. All right, if I stand in the very corner of the map and I use serious punch. All right, come on, work, please. Please, please don't let him get in front of me. Don't let him get behind me. Come on. Oh, wait, did it hit him? Did it do any damage? Did it work? It didn't kill him. Did you take any damage from that at all? Let's see. Bro, I, don't, I, I he barely took any damage. I mean, that myth is kind of fact, but I feel like if you stand in the corners, you can avoid it. So I'm going to say that myth is busted. I'm so sorry, Billy, but I, I need to end this battle now. We need to move on to the next myth. Why are you running? <laughs> there we go. GG. All right, boys. So now I'm in a private server with my friend Zebra, and he's about to shoot the purple Gojo move at me, and we're gonna see if I can dodge it in time before the Gojo move murders me. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's see if I can dodge the purple move with this uh, with this character. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna run, and yeah, I easily dodged it. Now that doesn't really change the fact that if I tried to tried to hit him, I really can't do anything. But uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, ow, ow, ow. But yeah, that myth has been proven to be fact. All right, but let's move on to the next myth, which is apparently you can create a crazy machine gun with Genos in a private server. So let me try this out. So if you activate no cooldown and you put attack speed multiplier to 10 and you spam the blitz shot. Uh, yeah, bro, look at this. I, I totally already knew that you could do this. So I knew that this myth was fact, but this might be one of the freaking coolest things that you can do in a private server. Now, look, I can create a forest fire and destroy every single tree in the game. Look at this. See, who does? I want to start a forest fire guys everybody leave a like for forest fires all right but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth which is you cannot block the metal bat foul ball move all right but as you can see i have gotten a goose to join my server and i have the metal bat move set equipped all right now let's test this out if i use the foul ball move and send this can he block no he can't okay i knew that so that move is unblockable that myth is proven to be fact all right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is if you use the beatdown move of Metal Bat when the player is low, you can glitch them under the map. Okay, no, th this one's interesting. Let's try this. All right, so let me go ahead and put on damage multiplier a little bit up, and let's go ahead and smack this goose in the face a few times. All right, now if we use the beatdown move on him, will it glitch him under the map? Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, did it work? No, he said it did. Hey, oh, babe, I guess that myth is true. Bro, you like knock him so far into the ground that you probably just like see under the map. That's crazy. He said he, I saw below the map. All right, that myth is proven to be fact. All right, but let's move on to the next myth, which is apparently you can escape the praise perils move of the hero hunter by uh, dashing backwards. Okay, let's try this out. Uh, Goose, I need you to equip the Garu hero hunter move set. <laughs> All right, where did you go, you little goose? Where did you go? He left the game. Where did the goose go? Hey, yo, what the f***? 
All right, he's ready. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, let's see. Can I? Can, I, I can't dash backwards. I can't. All right, no, that myth. Uh, that that myth is uh, is proven to be a uh, cap. If I did it wrong or something, or you notice that I do one of these myths wrong, comment it down below. And also, tell me some more myths that I could do for my 100 myths video. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is apparently if you use the Genos moveset and you get a kill with it, it uh, gets rid of all of your cooldowns for your character. So let me try this out. All right, let's equip the destructive cyborg. The goose said, this doesn't sound good. I don't like to be cooked. You're about to become cooked, goose. I'm so sorry. Get over here. All right, goose, you can't escape me. You can't escape me. Get over here. All right, let's go ahead and finish him off. Come here, little goose. Oh my gosh, dude, this goose is so laggy. Come on, stop running, goose. Let, let me fry you. All right, there we go. We killed him. And hey, look. Oh, this myth is true, actually. It reset all of our moves. Bet. Wait, does it do that with every move set? Uh, let me try to do it with Saitama really quick. All right, so if I go ahead and start comboing this goose really quick, hit it with the uppercut. One, two, three consecutive punches, shove, and then finish him off with a normal punch. All right, did it? No, it didn't reset all of our moves. Oh, I guess that only works with the cyborg. That's actually kind of overpowered. So that myth is proven to be fast. But all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is Garu's praise peril move can counter ultimate moves. All right, now nah, there's no way that this one's true, bro. <laughs> Whoever told me this myth is a goober. All right, let me switch to hero hunter. There we go. All right, he's activated his ultimate. We're going to try this out. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, hit me with an ultimate move. Go. All right, nope, no, nope, all right, I, I tried to counter, it did not work. Okay, yeah, that one has proven to be fake. <laughs> bro, I knew that one was false, bro. I literally went to counter, and uh, I literally died right away. Oh, you want the smoke, huh? You want the smoke, huh? Get over here. Get over here, you freaking goose. Let me go ahead and bop and go boom, bro. What? Huh? What? It, oh, my gosh, this goose might be the laggiest goose I've ever seen in my life. All right, well, that myth is proven to be fake. So let's move on to the next myth. And that myth is Gojo's infinity move redirects trash cans so that it hits players if they throw it at them. All right, go ahead and pick up that trash can, little goose. All right, let me activate my ultimate. All right, throw it at me, goose. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Bruh. Uh, okay, nothing happened. Try, uh, try this trash can. Bro, this one is fake too. I'm gonna be so sad. This would be so funny. Oh, it went back at him, but it didn't hit him. He said, ouch. Wait, did that, it didn't hit you, though. I don't know why you said, ouch. Wait, it did? All right, hold on. Let me try it one more time. All right, go ahead and throw it at me. Let's see if it does damage. That did no damage. We're going to try it one more time and see if he takes any damage this time. All right, throw it at me, goose. All right, let's see if he takes any damage. All right, no, it... Oh, wait, what? Bro, did he reset? <laughs> What just happened? All right, nope. I think that that myth is busted. It does fling it back towards the player, but it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, he's trolling. He said, holy OP for real, freaking goose. <laughs> All right, this next myth is that if you get on top of a tree, it will push you off. You won't be able to stand on top of a tree. All right, let me turn on no cooldown. And now let me throw some shurikens till I can get on top of this tree. All right, now if I get on top of this tree and I stand, I'm pretty sure it'll push me off. Yep, it just pushed me off. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure if you blow up the tree and then get on the tree, you're able to stand on it. This might be a myth that I just come up with right Big now. My own. All right, Goose, I want you to blow up this tree. He said, yeah, forest fires. All right, blow up the tree. All right, there we go. Now I think if we get up on top of this tree, it'll let us actually stay up here. Yeah, see? This myth actually... Oh, wait. No, it's not. They fixed it. Oh, wait. I might just be in, like, a glitch spot. Look at this. I'm, like, staying up here, but it's, it's like like making me fall okay there we go all right you know what my, my even my myth that i thought was a, a fact it turned out to be cap okay both of those myths are proven to be fake but let's move on to the next myth all right boys this next myth is that apparently death counter does not work against the bald hero move set so let me go ahead and equip the bald hero move there we go this character fits you very well stud bald <laughs> All right, Goose, I want you to use an ultimate move on me. Go. All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, I used my death counter. Uh, will it work? No, it did not work. Okay, yep. Yeah, I, I, uh, okay. And, yep, this myth is proven to be fact. Um, yeah, you, you can't, you can't death counter other Saitama ultimate moves. It is impossible. I actually want to know if we can death counter a death counter. L let me try this. Let me activate both of our ultimates. All right, use death counter. Go. All right, I used it too. Okay, um... So I use my death counter and he's about to hit me. Um, will, will I death counter his death counter? Will it work? Uh, nope. Okay, no, it did not. You cannot death counter a death counter. <laughs> the first myth was fact, but the second myth that I came up with was uh, was not was not fact. It, it was it was cap. So uh, let's move on to the next myth. And that myth is that Metal Bats M1s are the strongest M1s in the game. So let me test this out. All right, so I spawned a dummy for every single moveset in this game. And we're going to start with Saitama. All right, 
This does five damage. Okay, all right. All right, let's see how much Garus does. Garus also does five damage. All right, the Cyborgs also does five damage. Okay, what about the Ninja? The Ninjas also does... All right, all of them do five damage so far. All right, and then Metal Bat. Let's see how much this does. This one... Th this one does five damage too. All right, no, that myth is actually capped. And I actually knew that this myth was cap uh, to begin with because of something I didn't mention. The Sorcerer's M1 does uh, nine damage. So uh, yeah, that is not the strongest in the game. Five damage is not the strongest. So that myth is cap. All right, but let me move on to the next myth, which is the dummy has less health than a character does. Okay, let's see. Let's test this. All right, let's see how many hits it takes for me to kill the dummy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, it took eight hits to kill the dummy. Let's see how many hits it takes to kill the goose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, it, it looks like they're they're about the same uh, the same health. Hold on, let me try it with bald hero. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right, at nineteen hits, he has one percent health. All right, Goose, it's time to die again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23... Wait, what did the goose say? You don't do the same amount of damage with each punch? What? Wait, 5 damage, 4 damage... Six damage. I think that the different M1s do different amount of damage. I actually didn't know that. So it's five damage, four damage, six damage, six damage. Okay. That bit is false. Uh, I think they are about the same health. I think the, the dummy and the players are about the same health. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is apparently trash cans do more damage than the normal punch. All right, we'll hit this person. Let's see how much damage this does. Um... All right, that did a decent amount of damage. Let's let's keep an eye. It's like about the size of my mouse, a little bit smaller than the size of my mouse. All right, we'll let them heal up a little bit, bro. What is that person doing? <laughs> Get some help. All right, they've healed up. Let's see how much damage the serious punch does. All right, nah, the serious punch did way more damage. Okay, yeah, that myth, that myth is cap. I was gonna say, bro, the normal punch is a pretty strong move if you connect with it. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. Saitama can death counter Gojo. So let me go ahead and equip the Gojo move set. There we go. So we all know Saitama's death counter move. It is extremely overpowered. But is it overpowered enough to uh, counter Gojo? Which is literally a move set that uh that that uh what one hits everything. Like like look at that. He he's he's dead now. This poor guy. <laughs> Okay, so I got myself a little volunteer right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and activate your ultimate. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Wait. Wait, did you use it? <laughs> okay, it doesn't work. Myth number one, the Saitama can death counter Gojo is proven as fake. So yeah, definitely Saitama cannot death counter Gojo. Okay, myth number two is that you can dodge a serious punch. And you can do that by either using Genos or by using Speedo Sound Sonic. All right, so let me go ahead and change my character to a uh, destructive cyborg. All right, there we go. I'm using Destructive Cyborg now. All right, you little bacon. Go ahead and use your ultimate. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to serious punch me. Okay, there he goes. There he goes to serious punch me. So I'm in his way, but if I use this move right here, I can... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so yeah. So if you use like a move that jumps out of the way, you can easily just go ahead and dodge a freaking serious punch. Hey, ow. So let's go ahead and move on to our next myth, which is in 2v2s, you can glitch out of the map. All right, little bacon, are you ready to go to 2v2s and try to glitch out of the map? I mean, you're going to be doing all the work. Let's do it, bro. Okay, bet. All right, so according to this glitch right here, you are able to uh, glitch out of the map. So apparently you could jump on top of each other's head and glitch out of the map this way. Uh, by the way, shout out to Seabra for showing me this. Oh God, the bacon's here. But okay, bacon, let's go ahead and join uh, 2v2s. All right, all right, here we go. So what you need to do is stand against this wall and i'm gonna use hunter's grasp all right now we should be able to jump on top of each other's head jump go just jump jump keep jumping keep jumping keep jumping go go yes yo wait wait is it working oh god oh god we, come on we gotta go just stop moving stop moving just stay in one spot stay in one spot you freaking goober what are you doing oh no oh no oh no all right come on let's try it. let's try it again one more time three two one yo yo nah nah no we fell all right guys i don't think that this one works too well i think that they 
I think that it doesn't work anymore because we can't stay on top of each other's heads. So this myth is a bust. This myth is fake. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and murder this man anyways. All right, I'm going to go after this person. Boom, 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 bop. Go ahead and go over here. Hit him with this. Hit him with that. Let's go ahead and boost it into a one, two, three. Hit it with this move. And boom, there we go. Bop, 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 bop. All right, there we go. There we go. We eliminated one. We just need to get this guy one more time. Watch out. You might, you might want to watch out, buddy. You might want to watch out. <laughs> here we go. Boom. Wow. Let me go ahead and hit this move right here and finish it off. There we go. We won, but the myth was busted. So that sucks. But okay, we are back in my private server now because it's time to test out our fourth freaky myth. And boys, this myth is that it is impossible to tie. So uh, what we're going to do is we're both going to be using the deadly ninja and we're both going to use explosive shuriken at the same time. But first we, we need to get each other low health. So come here, let, let's, let's beat up on each other really quick. One eternity later. All right. So on the count of three, what you're going to do, you little freaking bacon, is uh, you're going to jump in the air and click four at the same time, okay? But you're going to look at me, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, jump and click. Wait, we did it! We busted the myth! It's that easy! We literally just tied! Yo, I watched a video about myths, um, and uh, somebody said it was impossible to tie, but boys, we just tied! We literally just tied right now, and we proved that myth is actually false. But okay, since we did that myth, we'll move on to the next myth, which is, if everybody in the server uses incinerate at the exact same time, it crashes the entire server. So boys, let me go ahead and get in my Discord, which link will be in the description. You guys should totally join discord.gg slash stud yt and yeah let me get a bunch of boys from my discord and we're all gonna use incinerate at the exact same time all right so i've gathered a bunch of people from my discord and we're all gonna use our freaking incinerate move at the same time all right boys i'm gonna go ahead and activate our ultimate and nobody nobody use their ultimate nobody use their ultimate yeah okay there we go oh god wait what just rip ran goku wow you're using the wrong ultimate all right, let's try this again. Let's activate our ultimate. Like I said, nobody use their ultimate yet. On the count of three, everybody use incinerate, okay? Three, two, one, go. All right, there we go. There we go. Will it work? Apparently, this is supposed to crash the game. Apparently, this is supposed to make the game crash. Uh, all right, let's look around. Uh, well, it, it literally destroyed everything, but it didn't crash the game. And it's also making me have like zero frames, bro. Like we just burnt down the entire server, but the game didn't crash. So this myth, this myth has been debunked. Okay, but for this next myth, we're gonna need to use our Garu moveset. And with this one, apparently, if you spam the give ultimate button, then uh, you will have like infinite moves to use in a private server so let me test this this is more of like a glitch than the other ones there it is activate ultimate if we spam click activate ultimate while the act or while the ultimate is activating let's see oh it didn't work we, we only have our four moves okay boys so i think i figured it out i've got infinite ultimate no cooldown and no stun activated and if i click g and give ultimate over and over and over while i'm activating the ultimate it will give me infinite moves let me see does it work does this work all right boom and there we go oh my gosh that is laggy that is laggy oh my gosh what just happened to the game dude look at this cr massive crater that i just created in the middle of the map but yeah look down at the bottom of the screen if i did this i could do rock splitting fist i could do crushed rock i could do all of these moves i'm just clicking random moves and i'm literally just starting to break dance bro look at me oh my gosh dude what <laughs> what is even going on anymore why why are you just dancing there oh i am so sorry you know what i'm actually not sorry let me go ahead and bop him down there yo what Okay, boys, for this next myth, apparently with Genos and some movesets, you're going to be able to fly and get up to places like where that little goober is up there. So, yeah, apparently if you jump and use Ignition Burst in a private server and you have the uh, you have the no cooldown move on, uh, if you jump and use this move, you should be able to fly if you spam it. Look at this. It's working. This myth is confirmed. This is fact. Come here, little bacon. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. And okay, now that we're up here, we can go ahead and demonstrate the next myth, which is myth number eight. You can cross the map death counter. So as you can see, uh, the little bacon is now down there. Hi. Hi. Dude, wait, did he just wave to me? But yeah, so if he goes ahead and activates his death counter, go ahead and activate your death counter bacon. And we go ahead and use our blitz shot move. If we hit him, I think think oh yes it worked yes you can cross the map death counter so uh so yeah we're, we're yeah we're dead we're uh yeah we, we we are dead but uh that was pretty cool i'm not even gonna lie dude my head's just sitting here 
So yeah, myth number eight is confirmed. And that brings us to myth number nine, which is Saitama cannot death counter Sonic ultimate move. So let me go ahead and uh, switch my move set to the deadly ninja. And let's go ahead and activate both of our ultimates. So I'm activating my ultimate right now. Here we go. And a uh, little bacon, go ahead and use your death counter. Okay, go ahead and use your death counter. All right, so if I go ahead and do this. Yeah, no, okay, that myth is busted. <laughs> Dude, I kind of had a feeling that this myth would be stupid. And yeah, just like that, we are dead again. So yeah, boys, that myth is busted and that brings us to another death counter myth which is a uh, death counter cannot counter trash cans which i feel like it definitely should be able to I I if death counter can't counter a trash can then the death counter is terrible okay so he just activated his ultimate i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this trash can and uh use your use your death counter right now use your death counter all right and if i throw this trash can will oh there we go dude we just busted three myths in a row it seems that death counter can really counter almost everything except for freaking go Gojo, bro. We learned that at the beginning of this freaking video. Okay, but for our next myth, we're gonna need to use the freaking bald hero move set. Go ahead and give myself instant ultimate. Go ahead and smack one of these gurus. There we go. Now we have our ultimate unlocked. Myth number 11. Apparently, you can hit more than one person with omnidirectional punch. Alright, so we're, we're gonna test out. So we're gonna go ahead and smack these guys. Make them stand beside each other. There we go. And alright, here we go. Time to test this out. Okay, so we knocked them both in the air. But, oh no! Alright, so we can hit more than one person but uh the only one person is able to be uh actual hit with uh all of the different punches and uh absolutely disintegrated just like that but we got him to like half health so that's actually not that bad either it's actually kind of overpowered so yeah i guess myth number 11 is busted you cannot hit more than one person with omnidirectional punches okay but we've still got two more myths and these myths are actually kind of broken so let's see if they're actually like crazy all right for this one we need to go back to the adrenaline demon moves out but first we need to reset. Okay, there we go. We've got the uh, Adrenaline Demon or the Metal Bat moveset equipped. And boys, this myth is that you can trap players with the Metal Bat M1. Because if you guys don't know, the Metal Bat M1 ends with a down slam. So if you do it fast enough, technically you can get a player stuck on the ground. So we're gonna we're gonna test this out. We're gonna go ahead and one, two, three, boom. And we're gonna go ahead one, two, three, boom. And we're gonna go one, two, three, boom. Oh, wait. Uh, how did that miss? Wait, hold on. D does it miss after the third try? Oh, wait, look at that. We can literally hit both of them. Bop. There we go. One, two, three. Bop. And one, two, three. Bop. Okay, goobers. Uh, once I knock you on the ground, I want you guys to try to dodge my next attack, okay? All right. One, two, three. Boom. One, two. Oh, what? You guys can escape that? All right. Well, we'll see if you can escape it this time. One, two. One, two, three, boom. Oh! All right, would you say that that's easy to escape? Would you say that you escaped that pretty easily? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this myth is busted. You cannot trap players with the uh, with the Metal Bat M1. Although, if you could, that would be pretty crazy. Okay, and the last myth, myth number 13. Can you death counter a death counter? So, obviously, I've already trapped my two, uh, my two editors in my freaking game, and I have forced them to help me with this video. Please help me. He's got me drinking out of a hamster bottle I've seen the sunlight in three days okay so everybody use the bald hero move set okay let's all all of us reset there we go bop bop <laughs> all right boys everybody activate their ultimate all right now everybody i want you guys to use death counter right now now everybody punch each other at the same time three two one go no if you hit me then technically does it death counter you Okay, no, you cannot death counter a death counter. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and activate ultimate. There we go. Everybody has our ultimate. Okay, both of you guys use death counter right now and punch each other. Go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is if general hits him and he has death counter, will it death counter back? No, it won't. Okay, that does not work. <laughs> that does not work, bro. Imagine if that worked, though. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about me punching you, huh? What are you going to do? No, I hit the wrong person. All right, boys, but that is all 30 dares. But boys, before the video ends, I just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can play War Thunder for free, customize a bunch of tanks, play in any single freaking war that you want to within the last 100 years for free down in the pinned comment and in the comments below or the pinned comments in the description. I'm a goober. I personally like using the planes in this game because, you know, tanks are a little bit slow and I like to use the planes to go fast. So zoom. Hey, yeah, boys, for real, check out War Thunder. It is a great game and uh, there is a ton of stuff that you can do and play absolutely free. But boys, I will see you in the next video and adios.